Today, I'm going to show you how with just one click of the button in Photoshop, you can get great contrast and clarity in your photos. Let's get started. Will Simpson here and welcome to Exploring Photography. In this Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you how with just the click of a button, you can get great contrast and clarity in your images. Now, for the nitpickers, it's a little bit more than just a just one click it's a more like a couple of clicks but you know you got to be dramatic for the tube <laughs> but let's get into it because you're not here for me you're here for the skills well you're here a little bit for me i hope anyways enough of that let's get started so here's a picture i took at crater lake uh last year and it looks really nice but with a couple of edits it's going to look even better so let's go ahead and apply one of my presets i think hazy days is going to look really nice on this photo so let's apply that preset and that already looks really good, but we can make it better with this one little tweak that I'm gonna show you. So let's right click on the image and go edit in and then to Adobe Photoshop. Once you're in Photoshop, let's go ahead and duplicate the layer. So select the background layer and press Command or Control J. This is kind of a little habit that I got into just in case I make a big mistake and I need to backtrack to the original copy. This is just to have a backup. The next step is we're gonna go down here and click on this little circle that's half white, half black. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna select curves. That's gonna bring up our curves adjustment layer. Next, you're gonna click the four lines in the top right corner and select auto options. This is gonna give you a couple of options to choose from. I generally choose enhance per channel contrast or monochromatic contrast. For this one, we're gonna do enhance per channel contrast. And boom, look at that. Look at the clarity in the image. Look at the contrast in the image. It just sharpens it and makes it look so much nicer. So let's go ahead and press OK. Now the best thing about this adjustment is you can adjust it. Once you've applied it, you can decide how much you want to apply to the image. Let's say it's a little too bright. Well, I'll just pull down here on the middle, which will darken the midtones, still keeping that contrast and that clarity, but now it's a little darker, moodier image. There's so many things you can do once you've made this adjustment to really make your images pop. Let's say that it's too much, like the, the adjustment makes the image a little too overdone. Come over here to the right side, make sure the adjustment layer is selected, click on opacity, and you can actually lower the amount of the application of this adjustment layer. So if you go to zero, now it's back to normal. Crank it up all the way, and you see the huge adjustment. I generally stick with around 70 to 80%. Sometimes, like this image, it looks amazing, so I'm gonna leave it as is. Now, if you happen to close this menu, and you need to readjust it or change something, just simply double click on the curves graph here and it'll open it right back up so you can make your adjustments. Now, if you wanna apply it to specific images but not necessarily the whole image, let's go ahead and press the X here and close that, then select the mask, which is this white box here, press Command or Control I. What that's gonna do is that's gonna invert the mask. So at, in Photoshop, white is reveal, black is conceal. So if you have a layer with the mask black, that means that it's hiding. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select the brush tool by pressing B on the keyboard. Let's go ahead and enlarge the brush tool. Make sure that the color is white down here on the left. If it's not, you can press X to toggle it back and forth. So we got white. And let's say we just want to apply it to the rocks here. We make sure the opacity is 100%. And we're just gonna paint here on the rocks. We'll go ahead and make that a little larger. Paint here on the rocks and you see that it just applies to the rocks and really gives them those sharp clarity. Now, I personally like it on the entire image. So I'm just gonna take this mask and I'm gonna drag it to the trash here and get rid of it, delete it, because I think it looks great on the entire image. And that's it. It's a simple tool, but really can give your images that, mm, that really beautiful extra piece of oomph that makes it shine and glow and just makes your images pop off the screen. And it's very easy to use, but sometimes you need a little less, sometimes you need a little more. So it's just a fun tool to play with. So have fun and happy editing. If you found that helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more great videos like this. And as always, don't forget to enjoy the journey that is exploring photography. I'll see you guys next time.